guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is probably one of the most exciting videos I've ever posted because today is part one to my series that is going to be four parts of creating my dream yarn room. So today's video, like I said, is part one of four parts. So for this part one, you're going to be seeing me pack up my yarn room from the old house and then you're going to be seeing me preparing the yarn room in the new house for all sorts of things that are going to be done to the room and then in part two you can expect to see painting the room and building furniture for the room and then from part three you will see the yarn organization organizing all the yarn and all of the final touches such as like organizing my desk and things like that as well. Then the final part, part four, is going to be the official room tour for the yarn room. So I am super, super excited to share this with you guys. The four parts will be out over the next two weeks. So as you are seeing this video, this is obviously part one, and then Mondays and Fridays, like my videos normally come out, it will be part one, part two, part three, and part four in order. Now just so you guys know, for this series at the end for part four, I will have all of the links for everything that is in the yarn room in the description of that video. So if you see anything in part one through three of this series and you think, oh that's really cool, I wonder where she got that, I will have links for everything in that video. So make sure you stay tuned for that video if you are interested in anything that I have in the yarn room. With that though, we're just gonna get started with part one of this series. Okay, you guys, so I have the hiccup, so please don't mind that first off. And second off, this is gonna be the start to my moving series. So I have a trash bag, and I'm gonna go through quite a lot of my yarn to see what I wanna donate. And just so you know, I am donating it to the store I sell at, which is Creative Junk Therapy. And not only do they sell work from artists like myself, but they also do um, like retail and they take donations of art supplies and of course yarn and all that kind of stuff and sell that and 100% of those profits go back to them because they're a nonprofit. So anyways, I'm going to be donating some yarn. I'm not going to do like a massive amount or anything because as I'm sure you guys know, I'm like emotionally attached to it I feel like but some of it that I feel like I'm never gonna use I will definitely be donating so we'll see how much I decide to get rid of but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking now so that hopefully maybe my hiccups will go away <laughs> to the closet which I am not really gonna get rid of any of the yarn that's actually like stacked on top because this is a lot of my parfait chunky and yarns that I use a lot also it's storming outside right now and I still have hiccups anyways I am gonna go through mainly what's actually down here in this corner and decide on that because all of this I know I already want to keep So voiceover Katie here to tell you that at this point I was just kind of packing things and doing things without talking to the camera too much because it was crunch time at this point. I really procrastinated packing up the yarn room and honestly packing in general, I really procrastinated. So I wasn't even really talking much and just getting things in bags. Now what I will say is these pink moving bags were a lifesaver. And I think I was able to get about half my yarn stash in them, which is saying something because I have a lot of yarn, as you guys know. 
so i'm gonna link these in the description box of today's video for you guys i also plan on using them for markets now that we have moved so i will definitely share those of course in future videos but yeah as you're going to see i was able to pack a lot of my yarn in those and it was very nice to have those so anyways just thought i would give you a little update for what's going on in the video since i did not actually update you in real time So here I'm just packing up some of my crochet books and then guess what? Packing more yarn of course. That is mainly what today's video is going to be but later on you will see me tearing down the cube shelves and things like that as well and like I said at the beginning you will see me preparing the new yarn room for all the stuff you're going to see in part two but yes for now it was just a lot of packing.
Now I'm just taking down the stuff on the walls and all the decor items I had on the shelf and just the decor items in general. Honestly, watching all this back while I'm editing makes me a little bit sad, but I can promise you guys all of it's already up in the yarn room in the new house and it is bigger and better than you could ever imagine, like seriously. So I am so incredibly excited for you guys to see the rest of the series. But anyways, that's what I'm doing now is just taking the decor down. Yesterday, I packed up majority of the yarn that is here on my shelves, and today I'm going to finish packing this up into this box, and then these few yarns, since they're smaller skeins, I'm just going to put in a bag to leave out because a lot of my yarn is going to be packed away for probably around a month or so. And I want to make sure I have at least a little bit to crochet with and don't have to dig into boxes all the time. So anyways, that's just going to go in a separate spot. But for now, I'm going to empty the rest of this out and put it into a box. So there's no more yarn on the shelves, so I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling them.
These clips you're seeing now are the last few clips that I have of packing up stuff from the old house. Now, I did have a lot of stuff shoved under my bed, so it's a little bit embarrassing, but don't mind that. But anyways, I did just want to come on here and say that I will also have a full empty house tour of the before of the new house before we started painting or doing any of the renovation stuff that we have done to the house so far and at some point when the house is done which might be like a year or two down the line but at some point when it's done i will also have an after video but anyways that before video will be up hopefully soon on my second channel which is more katie being creative it's always linked at the end of every video in the description box of my videos and once that tour is out i will share it on my community tab so anyways just thought i would mention that because it is pretty interesting to see the before of the house since it has already changed a whole lot since we have moved in so anyways that's actually all for me but just thought i would mention that to you guys okay you guys so we had the stairs redone that go up to my yarn room which they are basically done the guys coming back tomorrow for just a few more things to finish up but it is to the point where I can actually go up there and get things up there, which is super nice. Um, it's pretty dark because there's no light right there as of right now. And it's dark outside, as you can tell. Um, but I will insert some befores of what this looked like right here. Just so you can get an idea, of course, of how this looked beforehand. And then this is how it looks now, which we are still going to paint this room. But I'm going to grab my tape measure here. And I'm going to go upstairs to measure how big I want a rug up there. Which I don't think I've showed you in this video, this yarn room yet. So, I might as well do that, which is going to echo in here a lot so you know. <laughs> Here is a 360 view of the yarn room. Or what will be the yarn room. So yes, we need to paint this room starting this weekend. Today's Friday. So starting this weekend, our plan is to paint this room. And then this wall back here is going to be my filming wall. So I'm gonna have my yarn shelves back here and my Katie Bean Creative Pink on this wall and then all the other walls is just going to be a neutral color that we have in the rest of the house as well. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and measure right now how big I want a rug to be in here and you guys just say so you know, this room is 674 square foot. So it's absolutely huge. Um, I guess it's technically less now because of that being cut out uh, to make actual stairs, but still, it's a huge room. So, anyways, okay, I'm gonna actually measure. So I knew the rug for up here was going to be huge, but 17 by like 10 feet-ish is going to be absolutely huge. I might have to do two rugs or a few rugs. Um, we'll see, but I do want at least one rug to help the echo in here. And then of course, once I get furniture and yarn in here, of course, it'll help too. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much furniture I'm actually gonna have up here for the first little while, because, you know, furniture's expensive, so it'll probably take a lot to fill this whole room with furniture and shelves and everything, because my yarn room before was literally, like, not even 100 square foot, I don't think. Maybe just barely 100 square foot or something. I don't know, it was a normal sized bedroom. So it's gonna take a lot to fill this whole area. Also, um, Kate's easel and table thing we're just getting rid of. I wanted to use them in some way and like repaint them and stuff and it's just not going to work out because everything is so rickety and like 
broken in places and just like doesn't work how it's supposed to. So I just had them shoved in this part of the room so that they wouldn't be in the way for the guy working on the stairs. And um, yeah, eventually we'll take all this down. I might actually end up using it to put paint cans on tomorrow since this is a table that we don't care about. Um, yeah, also the floor creaks a little bit and stuff because it is a floating floor. This is a converted attic space. It used to be an attic. It used to be an attic. I feel like I can't say that word correctly. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have big, big plans for this room. So I'm so excited to finally have stairs built up here so we can get to it. Um, more easily than, of course, that spiral staircase. So, anyways, I will be back to you guys tomorrow or the next day or whenever we end up actually getting started with painting in this room. Okay, you guys, so it's now the next day. At least I think yesterday was the last time I updated you. And here's what the stairs look like. So, they are completely done other than the staining and stuff that we're going to be doing ourselves later on. So tomorrow we're going to actually be up in the yarn room painting. Um, but for now, I'm going to use our new cordless vacuum, which I'm so excited about, to um, go ahead and vacuum up a lot of the sawdust that is still left on the floor in here and on the stairs as well as up in the yarn room. Which, yes, I am in fact wearing the same clothes as yesterday. I didn't want to get new clothes dirty with all the sawdust and stuff, so please don't judge me. <laughs> well, it turns out that the battery is not charged enough yet for this vacuum, so I'm going to just use this vacuum. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching part one of the Creating My Dream Yarn Room series. I hope you guys are excited to see how this yarn room turns out. I'm so excited to finally share it with you. This has been in the making for about a month or so, and I'm just so excited to finally have the room done to where I can share it with you. If you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited about the next ones, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you are most excited to see. If you're excited to see the paint colors or the organization or the new furniture, or if you're just excited to see all of it, let me know in the comments down below. Now, if you guys do wanna make sure you don't miss out on the rest of this series, as well as all of my other videos that will be filmed in the new yard room in the future, make sure the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, if you guys do want to see more from me, of course, you can check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my Ripple shop, all of my social medias and my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. And with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you here in the next one for part two. Goodbye.